Today I'm going to show you guys two big tips on Facebook Marketplace listings. So sometimes uh, you may have a vehicle and the make of the vehicle, the manufacturer, is not listed on the drop down menu on Facebook Marketplace. And if you're doing this on desktop, there is no way around it. You can only pick certain vehicles that are shown um, on the drop down menu here. So let me show you that here on the desktop menu. We've got a AMC Ambassador, and right now it's telling us it's an Acura. If we pull the drop-down menu, uh, there's nothing else we can change. Down in here, so you can see this is the only list of vehicles that you can choose from. So on the desktop mode, you can't choose anything else. Same thing for mobile, but there's a little bit of a trick we can do. So I prefer to use desktop mode when I'm creating ads because we can use a much longer description. Uh, for example, on mobile, you are limited to 1,000 characters, but for right now on the desktop, you have pretty much unlimited amount of space. So if you have a really in-depth ad, a custom vehicle, or something you want to be specific with details, then you want to use desktop mode. So um, what we're going to do is go ahead and create our ad in desktop mode. You can pick any vehicle manufacturer for now. We're just going to go with Acura and then publish it. So after that, you're going to need to pull up mobile. And we're going to do that right here on my phone. We'll click my listings. We'll find our uh, vehicle right here. It's showing up as an Acura Ambassador. We're going to need to edit that listing. All right, so here's our listing right here. We're going to scroll down to the vehicle make and find other. It's not listed on the desktop, only on the, on the uh, mobile app. So then we can actually go in here and type in AMC. Uh, the mobile version does give you a bunch of other options as well, like trim level, uh, vehicle owner, if you have the title in your name and things like that. So uh, one thing that might worry you is you'll see if you scroll down to the description, it will not have the full description that you used on desktop mode, but don't worry, as long as you don't touch anything, or edit in that box, then you'll be just fine. So we'll click over here to save, and then here in about a minute or so, we'll be able to refresh on the desktop. You can see on the cell phone, it's already updated. It's, it does not say accurate anymore. Um, but here in just a second, we can refresh the PC version, and um, it'll show the updated vehicle description, Let's see, yep, there we go. So it already, already says it right there, 1971 AMC Ambassador. So that's all you have to do, at least for right now. This method has been working for me for a good bit. But uh, anyway, the two main tips we went over were being able to input a vehicle make that's not listed on the desktop version, and then also being able to use the desktop version to have a much longer description than just a thousand characters. So that's pretty much it. Hope this video helps you out. Let me know in the comments if you uh, have any questions about how to do this, and I'll be sure to help you out.